In this screencast, I am going to demonstrate how to create a character on one of our games using the Iron Realms Flash Client. Um, from here, once you are in the Flash Client, you need to select which game you would like to play. Um, we have, right now, we currently have five games. We have one more in development, our first science fiction game, Tears of Polaris. Uh, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use Empyrean. Uh, you notice that it's right down here in the bottom left. Uh, if I scroll over the bottom here, a little thing pops out, kind of telling me a little bit about the game, not a whole lot of information. Um, but to create a new character, I'm just going to click on the Play Now button. And then from here, you'll notice there is a Create a New Character button right here on the right. Uh, or I can log into an existing character here on the left. Now, obviously, I want to create a new character, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that button right here. And from here, I need to pick a name for my character. Now, it's very important when you're making, uh, when you're selecting your name, not to pick something uh, that's very common, like Bob or Fred. Most of the time, those aren't going to work, anyways. And you don't want to pick like a concatenated word, like, um, for example, maybe I want to do strong man or um, uh, big muscles or. Uh, uh, silly wizard okay and and try not to pick names that are uh, you know big time fantasy names used in books like Frodo or Gandalf or or something like that all right I want to pick something unique that is somewhat fantasy ish so I'm gonna go with go ahead and go with uh, uh, Ulrit Ulrit okay that'll be my name for this so that's fantasy sounding you know not something you're gonna see all the time and probably not used by any other people in the game uh, as all characters have to have unique names. All right, from here I'm going to use a uh, password, whatever password I like. Try not, obviously, you don't want to use a character name or just one, two, three, four. You want something that's going to be very hard for someone to guess, uh, but easy for you to remember. All right, from here I'm going to go ahead and click on the create button. And for all of our games, this is going to go ahead and bring you to the create a character page. Uh, from here and these all vary just a little bit um, but for the most part they all are going to pretty much work the same you're going to be able to select your gender either male or female uh, your stats will be right here and not all the games use the same stats but uh, you'll have an idea of your stats right here uh, you can select your race on some games you'll go ahead and you know pick your class here also and uh, some games do it in the introductory tour which we'll go over in a different screen screencast uh, from here um, sometimes you'll see some of the standard races like elf dwarf um, you know whatever uh, like that and the only one really on Imperium that's pretty standard is the dwarf and you can see as I select the dwarf that the picture of the dwarf appears over here on the right and down here in this text box I'm gonna get kind of a description uh, of what that race is like and I can go ahead and look at some different like maybe I want to look at the mom right which is a human uh, desert dwelling race uh, or maybe I want to look at the um, uh, the Zur which is like a rock man race uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the uh, Norgen which is like a human uh, like uh, Viking type race alright and as I said some games will have some additional selections like maybe you're gonna pick your guild uh, or city on here uh, I wouldn't be too worried about which race you pick or what your stats are um, pick something you like and uh, if you get into the game and you decide you want to be something different uh, all of our games will pretty much let you change your race uh, sometime within the first few levels so if you start playing and decide oh this this isn't the race I really wanted to be then you'll get a chance to reincarnate into a new race alright so once you've selected your gender uh, your race uh, if you're on a class on a game that has you select your guild you're gonna go ahead and do that and then you gotta make sure you click on the terms of service button right here basically and if you click right here you'll get uh, the terms of service in a browser window for you basically saying that you agree to the rules of the game and it also lists off what you can expect from us uh, so again once I've selected my uh, gender uh, my race uh, guild and class if that's needed and uh, select on my terms of service I'm all done and I can just go ahead and click on the finish button here in the flash client since a lot of new players use a flash client we kind of explain what the game is that is a text game you'll be playing the game in text and while that may seem kind of weird at first uh, we've actually found that playing in text is some of the most exciting ways because you have to kind of use your mind uh, while you're playing it to uh, you know 
imagine the world that's around you uh, as you interact with you know all the other players in the game. Uh, so anyways, you're going to get a short little description right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And then I'm going to be, be told that I'm going to be doing an introductory tour, which will, teach a, which will teach you the basic commands in the game, how to explore, how to attack creatures, how to do quests, um, basically how to progress in the game and how to interact with other players. Uh, once I click the Enter World button here, you're going to go into that introductory tour where you learn the basics of the game. I'm not going to go over that right now, but you can look forward to the next screencast, which will explain how to run through the introductory tour. Uh, all right, hopefully that'll help you out. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask on the forums. And again, go ahead and look for the, screen, the next screencast, which will be how to do the introductory tour for Imperian.